Welcome to Sam and Max Season 2, Setup Wizard. We are here to configure your computer for optimal performance before gameplay begins. The delay is totally worth it! Let's start with graphics configuration. You can play Sam and Max Season 2 at any resolution your monitor supports. Just choose the resolution you want from the list. You can run the game in full screen or a window. And for the computers who can't quite muster the full force of Sam and Max Season 2, a low quality mode is available. You can always change it later from the option screen. Hint level 5. Minimum difficulty! Hint level 4! Hint level 3. Hint level 2! Hint level 1. Maximum difficulty! Tutorial button. To skip the tutorial, press New Game. Configuration complete. Thank you! To change any of these settings while playing Sam and Max Season 2, just click the gear icon at the top left corner of your screen. Enjoy! Greetings, ladies and gents. And hyper-advanced squid creatures from beyond time and space. So glad you could join us. You picked a good time. We happen to be at the climax of a particularly troublesome case. That rat, Jimmy Two Teeth, stole our phone and won't give it back till we bribe him with Swiss cheese. That was uncharacteristically lucid of you, Max. Fortunately for us, Max just went cheese shopping this morning. Unfortunately for us, I have the memory of a jar of wallpaper paste, and I've completely forgotten where I put said cheese. So our first task is simple, folks. Find that cheese. When I've finished yammering, an arrow-shaped cursor is going to appear. You can move it over things in our office to see what's what. Click with the left mouse button on objects that seem interesting, and I'll offer helpful commentary or do something else useful. I'll wander around aimlessly, as usual. Let's get started. Click around the office to find a convenient hiding place for cheese. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You bet, little buddy. No cheese there, but keep looking. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to babble me, little pal. Don't forget, we're looking for a hiding place for cheese. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, there it is! Great! Let's pay the ransom and get our phone back. I've got some excellent ideas for crank calls I'm itching to make. Not so fast, compadre. Jimmy was very clear that it has to be Swiss cheese. So, we go to Switzerland? No, Max. We use our heads. Maybe something in our inventory can help us. You mean that box where we keep all our miscellaneous junk? That's the one. When I stop talking again, you'll see a cardboard box floating in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. That's the inventory, where we keep things that, for whatever reason, we think we should carry around with us. Well, looky there. 
It's my second best friend. I thought I was your second best friend. I'm about to get my gun out now, and the cursor is going to change to look like crosshairs. When you click on objects, I'll try to shoot them. To put the gun back in the box, you can either click where there isn't a highlighted object, or just click the right mouse button, or both. No way. You need to get Jimmy some Swiss cheese, pronto. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Clever. Now we have a pile of fake Swiss cheese. I don't know about you, but I'm completely fooled. Max and I spend most of our time doing goofy stuff like this. And if you want to succeed in the world of the freelance police, you'll probably have to think like we do. For which we apologize in advance. Now, you can pick up a hunk of cheese just by clicking on it. It will go into our inventory box with everything else I'm carrying. Also, this is probably a good time to save your progress in the game. In case there's a massive statewide power outage. Right, or if you just want to take a break and come back later. Here's how it works. You may have noticed a little gear in the top left corner of the screen. Don't look now, but it'll be back when I'm through talking. Clicking the gear gives you access to various game controls, including a save load screen, ingeniously labeled save load. The save load screen has some neatly labeled green tags that let you save your game. And you can click the little gear again when you're done. Ready? Use the gear to save your game, then grab some of that cheese. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Now that we've got the cheese we need, it's time to give it to that rat, Jimmy Two Teeth. Have we mentioned that Jimmy is a rat in the literal four-legged tail-dragging sense? It's not just a metaphor. Good point, little buddy. Anyway, to retrieve the cheese we just put in our inventory, just click the cardboard box like you did before, and then click the cheese that spills out. The pointer will turn into a picture of the cheese which you can move around with the mouse. Click anywhere to try and use it with other things in the office. Let's put it somewhere the rats can find it easily. Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you that the situation has changed and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Whoa, time out. Looks like we're heading into a dialogue, little buddy. Great! I love dialogue! Usually, you can left-click on any character to engage in some semblance of witty repartee. In this case, we don't need to click Jimmy. The conversation will start automatically. In a minute, you're going to see a list of choices on the screen. There are things you can pick for me to say. There will also be icons of Max and me to the left of the list of choices. Click those to switch between the two of us. Max's lines are different from mine. Better! We'll see. Now let's try to talk Jimmy into getting us back our phone. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We'll go half easy on you if you just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Okay, okay, you're freaking me out here. I give up. Take your phone and let me go. Well, that was easy. I have a feeling it would have been a lot harder in an actual game. Let's not look a gifted horse in the mouth, Sam. Mission accomplished! Indeed. And that's the end of this tutorial, too. In just a few short minutes, you've managed to learn everything we know about freelance policing. We hereby deem you fully prepared to go out into the world and inflict mayhem-injected justice. Don't say deem, Sam. Or hereby, either. Sorry, I keep forgetting. 